Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to look at the problem, the first unique character in a string. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below this video because that helps me create this content for you guys. Awesome. So let's go ahead and dive right into the question. So we're given this string s and what we need to find is the first non-repeating character in this string and return its index. So uh, for our first example, we can see that, okay, there are no other l's in this string and the first character l is at the index 0 so we need to return a 0 for this case now let's look at another example where l is repeating itself so in the second case we have a repetition here so l is repeated here and here and the question we need to ask ourselves is first of all is the string unique and second of all is this the first occurrence of that unique uh, string. So here we can see that L is not unique and it doesn't appear to be the first unique character because it's uh, there's duplicates of L. And so we can go through this string and see, okay, does O exist in the string? Yes, it does. So it's again, not unique. Now we are at V and okay, V does not exist in any other parts of the string. So yeah, we can go ahead and return the index of V, which is two. So this is zero, one, and two. So we need to return two. So that's how we're getting these integer returns. Okay, so the most optimized way to solve this problem is to have a system to track whether the character we're at is unique or not. So here, what I've done is, this is um, a map of the string leak code. And what I've done is I have written out, um, I've iterated through each of the characters and what I'm doing is if I encounter that character again, I'm just setting um, that character's mapping to false. So for example, E, the first time we encounter it, it is initialized to true. And then the second time we encounter it, uh, we just set it to false. So this gives me a clear indication of which characters are unique and which characters are not. So that's the first step to create our dictionary and mapping. And that's what I've done here. And then what we can do is iterate over the string again and see if this character exists in the map. So in our case, this L, yes, it does exist in the map and we will encounter it first um, when we're iterating over this string again. And what we need to do is just return the index uh, of that string when we're iterating over it. So that will be, um, so in this case, the first time we um, encountered this L in this map will be when I is zero. So that way we're just gonna return um, our index and solve this problem. Great, so here's our second example uh, with our string lovely code. And what I've done is I've created this map here, which is our first step. And the second step is just to iterate over each of the item in the string. So we'll start here. So this is our index zero. And then, so we check, oh, okay, the L is false. That means it's not unique. So it's not going to be this one. So then we move on to one and um, O is also false because it exists again here in the leak code. So uh, that's not gonna be our answer. And then we're at this index two and we can see that V is the first unique um, non-repeating character. And this is at index two. So we're just gonna return two because I is two here. Okay, awesome. So if that makes sense, I'll go over the um, time and space complexity. So the time complexity is going to be O of n because we will iterate over our um, uh, string here. So we need to iterate over the entire string and that's why our time complexity is O of n. And our space complexity is also going to be O of n because we are creating um, this map and storing all these values in that map. So that's why our space complexity is O of n. Okay, and so in summary, our solution is to create our unique map and insert the characters. So that's our first step. And we're gonna set them to true or false um, based on if it's encountered once versus if we keep seeing that character. So it will be set to false if it's not unique. And the last thing we need to do is iterate over our string again and check where um, the first occurrence of that non-repeating character and return that index. Awesome, so I'm back in the code and what I've done here is I have created a uh, map here called stmap and this is what we're going to use to track uh, whether we have seen um, that letter 
again or not, right? So what I'm going to do now is iterate over our s input. So I'll say for let i equal zero, i is less than s dot length, and then i plus plus. And once I'm in this, I'm going to check if I've seen that item in the st map or not. So if st map at the index of si. So this is basically each letter in s. So we're checking if the map has that um, index or not here. So if that is equal to undefined, then what we're going to do is um, we will allocate that to uh, true. Okay. Because we've only seen it once, so we're going to say yes, this is a true first unique character. And once we've done that, um, we can identify the other ones as false. So if we see that character again, so for example here, um, if we have this see this e first we will set it to true but then when we see this e again um, we are going to index that as false because e is no longer the first unique character so we will say stmap at the index of si so at that character we're at is going to be equal to false Okay, so I have my for loop here, and now what I'm going to check is if this item um, exists in the st map and if it's set to true. If it's set to true, I will just return that index. So I will say if st map has that index i and that is set to true, so this means true, then I will return the i. Else, I will just return negative one um, because the question says if there is no unique character, then you need to return negative one. Okay, so this looks okay. Um, I'm gonna give this a run. Okay, awesome, accepted and submit. Yay, success!